Hi friends, in this lesson you will learn about a flex box. In the previous video, we have created these multiple columns and rows from section, container and block elements. You can see it in the structure panel. The default display option for section, container and blocks is flex box. You will click on section. In content tab, you will see display option is set to flex. It is also set by default for container and blocks. You can see here display option is flex for container and also in blocks. And these are its options. In this lesson, we will explain the function of all these options. First, know what is a flex box. Flex box is a new method that allows us to easily change the position of item horizontally or vertically. I have created a one container and added three item inside of it. Here is a lot of option about Flexbox. As I told, Flexbox is a container that allows us to change the position of our item easily, horizontally or vertically. Now if you want to change the direction of this item to vertically, just click on the vertical button. If you want to change it again to horizontally, then click on horizontal button again. The reverse option is used to reverse the order in horizontal. The direction of flex item start from left and goes toward right side. If you will click on reverse, it will reverse the direction. So our boxes are pushed to the right side and first we have one, then two, then three. It is very useful if you are making website in Arabic, Urdu, Farsi and Negro language because the text in those languages start from right side and goes toward left side. Now leave this option at the moment. Focus on these icons. When I change the direction from horizontal to vertical, this icon will be changed. These three options start, center and end are used to change the position from left side to right side or to make it in center. Leave these three options. I will talk about this later. If I click on this option, you will see nothing is happening because the container is small and there is no free vertical space. Now let's make it bigger. Now you will see the changing. These three options are used to change the position of item vertically. Let me show. If you want to change the position of this item into center, then set it into center. Now you can see it is in center. Stretch option is used to stretch the item vertically. Leave this baseline option at the moment. Now here is the another option column gap. It will increase or decrease the gap between these items. And at the bottom, you will see the order option to change the order of this item. You will do it later. Now, let's talk about these three properties. Space between, space around and space evenly. If you will click on space between, then the first and the last item will be pushed at the end of horizontal axis. If you will click on space around, you will see the space before the first item and after the last item. But the amount of space we have here is half of the space we have in between the other items. And if you will click on space evenly, it will distribute items with equal space between them. We can play with these properties and get the ideal look. And now I want to show you the baseline property. For better explanation, I have changed the text position of item 1 and item 2. In baseline, we actually align item so that the baseline 
on the same line. See, all the three letters sit on the same imaginary line. Now let's talk about order property. By default, the source order of each item is zero. Let me explain what is source order. I have first created this item, then created this item, and after that the third item, and so on. In structure panel, you can see the source order. This is the first item, this is the second item, this is the third item, and so on. We can change the source order by dragging like this. Now you can see 7 move to the center. Without changing the source order of flex item, you can reorder the flex item visually with the help of order property. Remember, the default value of each item is 0. If you will write here the bigger number, the item will move toward the end. And if you will write smaller number, item will move toward the beginning. That's actually the core logic of order property. For example, I want to change the order of fourth item and send it to the end. I will select the four item and write one here. Now you can see the four move from center to the end. If you want to move it to the beginning, then write minus one. If you want third item to the end, and select the third item and write here one. Now the third item move to the end. If you want to move the second item to the second last position, then change the order of third item to two. Then select item two and put one. It will become to the second position because one is smaller than two. As I told earlier, if you will put a bigger number, it will move toward the end. And if you will put smaller number, it will move toward the beginning. Practice on order property, it is very easy to understand. I have reorder four item, the second item and third item. But if you will look at the structure panel, the source order is still same. That is the magic of order property. It only change the position of item visually. It does not change the source order of items. Now let's talk about align container options. These visual controls are used for container alignment. Start is used to align your container on left hand side and end is used to align your container on right hand side and center is used to position it in the center. If you wanna have a full width section, you can use stretch option. It will take all the available space on the screen. You can also use visual controls of align container on child containers. This is parent container and these are child containers. Basically these are containers and I have put text element inside of it. Let me show. Now you can see basically these are three containers. The first container, second container and third container and I have put inside it text element. Before showing its use, I first align this container into center. Now focus on this icon. When I click on child container, this icon will be changed. Now you can see the icons are changed. When you will click on child container, it will become full independent. Now you can align it on top or bottom or stretch it. Click on start to align it on top. Or click on end to align it in the bottom. Click on center to align it in center. You can also stretch it individually like this. By this way you can align child container individually as you want. I want to align it on top and the third child container on the end. Now you can see you can align child container individually as you want. After the explanation of self alignment of container, I want to show you the alignment controls of other elements. Now this is text element and this is a button. How you can align these elements independently? For the individual alignment of elements, 
you can go to style tab then layout uh, you can see here the align control for individual element if you want to align it to left or right or to in center you can use these controls you can also stretch it if you want let me show on button remember as i told you earlier when you will change the direction of parent element from horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal the icon of self alignment will also change now you will see the icons of self alignment of this element will be changed now the icons are changed now you can align it on top bottom or in center we show as i told earlier you will change the direction from horizontal to vertical these icons will be changed focus on these icons these icons are changed look at these icons carefully then use it now these icons will change the position vertically now see the changing and this visual control can be used to align items horizontally and this is also changed from column gap to row gap now it will increase the gap between this item these empty spaces in a container are enough for one or two boxes but if you will add more than two boxes then existing boxes will shrink to create some space for more items but in case you want to prevent existing items from shrinking you can use wrap property the wrap property is used if you want any extra item that cannot fit on one line move to the next line let me show If I duplicate the third item, it will fit on the same line because there is some free space. But now, this space is not enough for the next box. So, if I will duplicate it again, it will move to the next line. Let me show. and there is one more rep property which is rep reverse and rep next item was moving to the bottom line in rep reverse the next item will move to the upper line let me show by duplicating four item now let's talk about flex grow Currently, the size of these boxes is set to 100 pixel, and we have plenty of extra space. With Flex Grow, we can allow these items to grow and take up the available space. By default, the Flex Grow is set to zero. That's why our boxes are not growing. Now, if I select the first box and give it a one factor, it will start growing and take up the entire free space. The other two items are not growing because its flex grow value is zero. If you want all these boxes grow on the same rate, then set flex grow of each item to one. Now you can see these boxes are growing at the same rate and the free space is equally distributed between them. You can change the growth factor for any item. For example, for a first box we can set grow to zero. It will prevent the first box from growing. So now all the available space is allocated to second and third boxes. If I select the first box again and change the flex grow to two. 
Now you can see the first has grown more than the other boxes. You might be wondering why the first box is not twice of the other boxes. Well, this is common misconception about the flex grow property. Just because we have said two or the first box, it doesn't mean that this box will get twice of the other boxes. Let me explain how growing work back to the original situation. We have plenty of space here. When we set the flex grow property, the browser is going to look the growth factor of each boxes. For the first box, we have set the growth factor 2 and for the other two boxes, we have set the growth factor to 1. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So the browser is going to take up the entire available space divided by 4 slices. Then it's gonna allocate 2 slices to A, 1 slice to B and 1 slice to C. This is how this algorithm works. Now let's talk about flex shrink. Flex shrink is the opposite of flex grow. It tells the browser how these elements should shrink if there is not enough space to fit in the container. So for this demo, I have changed the size of boxes and set flex rape to no rape. So these boxes will not rape to the next line. The default value of flex shrink is 1. Our boxes are bigger. To see the changing, go to preview mode. Now if you will resize the browser window, look. They are shrinking at the same rate. Now let's back to builder. If you will set the flex shrink factor to 0, it will stop shrinking. Let me show. Now see in the preview mode. Now you can see the first box is not shrinking. Now let's talk about flex basis. You can use the flex basis property to set the initial size of flex item. By default, it is set to auto, which means the browser is gonna look at the width and height property of these items. You will change this from auto. It will change the width or height depending on flex direction. If the flex direction is set to horizontal, the flex spaces will override the width property. Let me show. Now you can see the width of this box is changed. Now remove it. But if you will change the direction of main container from horizontal to vertical, it will override the height property. Let me show. Now you can see the height is changed. With the help of flex basis, you can change the width or height of any box you want. Let's change the third box size. The flex basis property is sometimes very useful in a situation where you want to change the direction from vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical in different breakpoints. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.